All right, welcome back. Let's try to get these miners, poor miners, out of our job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be fair, again, you know, they were detaining the, you know, the um, Murray spirit oh, guard. Okay, so, yeah. Bentley, you're worried too much. It's just a mask. It's not hurting anyone. Come on. Just yeah, keep okay. those masks even... away from evil scientists and we'll be fine. Again, even then, Drova, again, we're literally planning on mass murdering these people. With a crocodile, no less. Lemonade bar, uh-huh. It's just lemonade, Drova, we swear. <laughs> yeah, it's not alcohol, we swear it's juice. I'm sure you do. Don't you mean Yoka? You mean... Like in, uh, no, 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 um... The Singapore dub. <laughs> what's that, uh, what's that com juice com drink from the 90s that's like 20% juice that they say in the commercial? Juicy juice? Over 20% juice? Well, then what the hell is in the rest of it, then? <laughs> like... Water, yeah, maybe? Yeah, it's the over 80%. <laughs> Hopefully, just water. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Alright, day two. I think, for starters, uh, yeah, we're gonna try to clear out the lemonade bar. I will say this. I wonder how these guys get over all the jet lag, because they're going all, all right, over boys. the world. They seem to be... They seem to be... Pro they're professionals, doing so. they, they know what to do. They also seem to take some time off here and there, so that helps. Find the match deep inside yourself. Light it! And let the fire burn up your guts and boil your blood! <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, for example, uh, Pedro, if he could transform us into the fall. Also, also, uh, Murray, you don't really need to encourage. Bentley seems to be managing just fine with the body count, so... Terrence, why are you, why are you trying to make me die of a, of a, a heart attack? Like... So we could use your rage to help us in our mission. Uh, huh. At the cost of his life. It depends on what the mission is. Right, that's all that depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. All right, my right, then, uh, Jova. What? You, well, how about you think of Amazing Spider-Man 2, then? I'm pretty sure you won't die from that. Well, don't get me wrong, yeah. I, 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 he hates that movie. I don't think it's his most hated movie, is it, Trova? No, 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 no. Far from it. Like, I mean, I hate well, it was, that it was, movie. It was the first one that came to mind. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably his most hated movie. I think it's uh, Last Airbender, isn't it, Jova? You well, yeah, it still is, I think. It, 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 it has recently received some competition in the form of the Godforsaken Artemis Bow movie. Ah, okay. True, you're actually connected to the early source of material. Alright, since these are fine gents, apparently we need to resolve this dispute with a drinking contest. What else? Drinking up lemonade! Now, uh, the process is identical the same, just mash the button, as it says, um, you know, as much as faster, but it will change depending on the characters that it uses. Lai is kind of a middle ground, very chugs super fast, as you can see, but Bentley being the last will be the more harder to do, because poor guy cannot actually chug this entire thing in one go. Also, you're spilling all over the place. You're, you should be disqualified. <laughs> Wow. Almost there. There we go. Jeez, how, how much are those glasses? Jesus. We win. That's cheating. Yes, Dweebs, apparently yeah, the miners exactly. agree with you. <laughs> oh, so yes, sadly, these did not count and we still need to beat the shit out of them. Oh well. <laughs> Well, we tried to be cordial at first. And also, very those three were instantly dead because we put them on the fence. Jesus. Yeah, that fence did more harm to them than it did to us, honestly. And there you go. For this sequence, you switch control of the characters uh, at some points, uh, starting with Bentley, then going with Live, and to Murray, and so on. All right, Again, boys, to give a more right dynamic uh, kind of sequence. Uh. Die. 
also very powerful electric fence and uh, you know the um, the fire the bonfire in the middle meaning that you know you, you can use that to create a way to for defeating enemies against the kill also some drills uh, in part of the background you can try them but of course them. oh also yeah hey guys them. um hey guys but you know back when um the last time i went to bob i just think you remember there being uh, huge drills in the corner <laughs> safety first please <laughs> Yeah. Hey Joe, have you, have you heard of that? Have you heard of that pub that has that has a huge spike pit in the middle that that has no guardrail around it? I mean, Australia is so dangerous, so why not? <laughs> we apologise to uh, all Australians, but we are sure ninety percent of the country is not dangerous. I don't know, Graves. Documentaries told me otherwise. Uh, isn't there? Um... Isn't there a state in the United in the U.S. that is uh, has a lot of hostile winds? I forgot which one was. Oh, the closest. Well, it's not hostile winds, but I know you know the Death Valley is literally named like that for a reason, mostly because I think you it's, know, it's uh, the hottest, it's the hottest it? region in the continent. Wyoming. I think it's uh, Wyoming, isn't it? I don't know. In, in, regards, in regards to hostile winds, if you're thinking of tornadoes, that's Texas. Oh, I guess. I, I think Texas I heard something about tornadoes. Okay. California gets earthquakes a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they descend and they as fall. So, so each of them have their own uh, unique brand of natural disaster. Okay. Yeah. Or the Louisiana gets the uh, hurricanes. Okay. Ow. Or they so, get yeah. the monsoons. So yeah, it's it's not anymore a brawl, it's a literal massacre. So I, oh, it's four oh, miners. Oh, well, we cleared them out. The Cooper Gang rules the roost. We're the kings of the hill. The totally maxed out heavyweight champions. Those guys won't be coming back here anytime because soon. Because we're dead. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> guys, like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take. Now, how come this mask back? wasn't in Crash Four? Mask has a powerful <laughs> force in it. Maybe it's like the long lost brother of Aquaku and Kouka and was still sealed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll probably get to him in uh, Crash Five. Um, Never uh, ever. Yeah, Crash Five. Never ever after. <laughs> okay then. That was a mouthful. All right, uh, this counts as a difficult uh, fight. Uh, you need to use uh, there you go. You, you need to use the contraptions uh, of the of the place in your advantage, uh, also to eventually lure the the boss towards the bomb. There you go. In order in order to actually damage it. This there is one thing I do like also about this game in particular. If I recall correctly, this is a Slide Cooper game where we get the most gameplay, where literally the main three are all together in areas here and mm -hmm. there. Yeah. It gives off that nice sense of teamwork here and there. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, 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 for most of these fights, what you're supposed to do is mostly run away. Terrible fella. <laughs> Don't worry, thanks to the power, ma magical power of the glowing yellow stick, uh, can go down. Yes. That stick has the power of something. Ow. I mean, it is sturdy. But it's never explained on what the the, the question mark tip uh, is made of. It's if it's metal, you know, plastic or something else. Uh, I mean, if we go off of Indiana Jones, I guess we could say that that uh, staff has the power of Christ behind it. Uh, I guess. But again, I mean, could... but again this is operates. Uh, this is still operating, or you know, uh, real world logic in how the states were constructed and everything. Uh, so I guess it should have happened at some point. Uh, I mean, and considering how we're literally doing with a mystical mask, I guess it wouldn't be too far-fetched to say that there's some magic behind that staff. 
To be fair, yeah, also, yeah, so they, they keep making a big deal how the cane has been, you know, uh, passed on through each generation of the Cooper, so I don't know. That guy was the mask. It's getting away? We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask is sure to keep making trouble. Nah, Bentley, you're worrying too much. So, I guess we found our true villain for this area. The mask. You're, you're blowing out of proportion, Jonah. Hmm. Maybe we should ask Jim Carrey for help on this one. All right, for this one, if I recall correctly, you're about to go on an excursion towards radioactive oil fields. Yes, really. How healthy? Sounds like you're By the end of this mission, Jova, you will have to say that twice. We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Ben. <laughs> oh! That's, that's kind of sad. <laughs> Do you know how much those mean to Bentley? Like he pours his soul into those. <laughs> wow, that's that's going into the top ten anime betrayal. Also, video for some there. reason, for some reason, in this sequence of Murray is having an explorer hat, so he can blend in. He doesn't really need it. It's for effect. All right, this mission works. A tad differently, you're giving another new control scheme. Um, you need to use this crane to toss stuff uh, into the barriers. Alright, let's try. There you go. It's a pick up and drop cane. Crane, sorry. This is easy. You do seem quite adept. The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Mm -hmm. Just pick up an item. And press the circle button to throw them. You can throw things quite a way. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. Sure, give it a go. But I was told the circle button was for sliding. I've got the hang of it. It can do. It can do many things. Yeah. Yes. In, 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 in Japan, just before this generation, it was actually used to select something. Looks like the miners are on to us. All right, mm. these functions. This function a bit like a tower defense uh, stuff. Uh, basically, Murray will have to drain, essentially, op open the valves of the the old ducts, uh, and you essentially need to protect him. So you need to use the crane to pick up uh, the miners uh, and decide to kill them in creative fashion. The most effective way is to toss them into the electric fence, as I will demonstrate. I'm sure it just knocks like this, them uh, out. Boop. Yeah, get here. Boop. <laughs> again, again, all these miners were just doing their job, the trespassing property and g literal genocide. Again, Tio, they locked up our friend, the Murray's master guy. Yeah, the yeah, there is such a okay, big Joppa. disproportionate okay. retribution. Yeah, at, at some but point, the retribution see... is really disproportionate. But don't you see, guys? They locked up the guy who can manipulate people's minds. Clearly, they're the bad no, guys it's here. A... Sorry, no, this would be like... It'd be like if Superman broke someone's neck just because, just 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 because he actually just because he touched Lois Lane or something. Oh, oh! So what you're basically saying, Dwebs, is uh, I'll take you without breaking you, which is more than I deserve. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, considering what Lex had done, he had pretty much worked Superman's last nerve there, and Superman still resisted doing that. So. I mean, he was pissed, but he didn't act on it. Well, that brings a good point. That also brings another point. Uh, um, I don't know if you ever actually followed it, uh, Pedro, but uh, by the time we're recording this, in recent time, um, Zack Snyder actually released some interviews in the waking of the, you know, the, the, the cut of, of Justice League. Apparently, he's not really happy about the fact that the Marfa scene has been memed, and he keeps saying that it has, you know, that he's had actual meaning behind it. And I'm like, yes, Zach, I know that. I'm not that stupid. It still doesn't change the fact that it has non potential, and that's why people are memeing. Well, it's most. No, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing about the Marfa moment. See, see, yeah, yeah, you can tell what the movie is going for. You know, like, it's, it's. it's see, here's the thing. So, uh, uh, Batman was so uh, intent on killing Superman. And it didn't even stop for a moment to think that maybe this guy also has people who care about him, you know, like, uh, 
um, and now that he realized, uh, like, well, he got his confused when he says Marfa. Then Lois comes in, hits his mother's name. So basically, the fact and that he, was, the fact that the, the fact that Superman's last, like, as as Batman was about to kill him, Superman was could only think of saving his mom. So he, in desperation, he told Batman to save his mom. Here's the problem. Why would he say save Martha? Why wouldn't he say, look, if you're gonna kill me, please save my mom. There he goes. Oh, yeah. There you go. A simple change of wording would have solved the problem. Instead, for some reason, he he says save Martha. Not only does Batman have no way of knowing who's which Martha he's talking about, um, like, uh, like it, it's just like, and that's what where, where Batman. Uh, oh my God! See what Batman actually realizes is, oh my God, he has a mom. The problem is that the way the scene is executed. Not just that, they also had the same name as mine. <laughs> the, no, that's, yeah, that's okay, the thing. Okay, the okay, reason, yeah. the reason people interpret that way, Teo, is because of the way it's worded. It's, it's literally, it's literally like Kitaze directed and wrote that scene. It's so poorly worded. That it's in like here's that, how it should have yeah, been. I, mean, I was I was so baffled when I saw that at the cinema. Yes, Joe. Like, okay, okay, okay. Here's how it should have gone. He should have, if he was gonna say save Marfa, he should have say save Marfa Kent, because uh, you know there's a lot of Marfas out there, soups here and there. Bats isn't exactly gonna know which Marfa you're talking about. Like, I know he's Batman, but there's only so much he can do. Like, I feel what they what they were trying to do was you know point out that little detail that oh yeah, Superman and Batman do have happen to both have mothers whose names are Martha. It's a thing that I've pointed out, but I'll admit, I've never really seen anyone else point out, so I guess it's a nice little tip to point out. The problem is, again, how it's worded there. Why would he just say, save Martha? Like, he not only calls his mother by her first name, but just by her first name, not her full name, <coughs> so that Batman might have an easier time tracking her down. This is also, my problem. Sorry, go ahead. For the, for the second, for the last second and last piece of the fight, you need to sorry, on the on the Mishra, you need to put two, two rocks on the catapult so we can, you know, launch them and destroy the actual oil barrels. Again, this is relatively easy. This is also helped by the fact that, as you can see, the enemies can actually hit. The, 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 the escortee that you're having, these platforms that are powering up the crane, um, and still the rest do, do relatively little damage. So this is, even as an endurance test, this is relatively fine. It's, it has entertaining value by from target, killing the enemies in creative ways, you know, and you're not taking too much punishment for failing. So there is that. Go on, Java. Basically. Uh, no, a... no, that's the thing. Well, actually, I was trying to... That's the thing. Okay. Uh, see, here's the here's the thing. This is the problem that I have with, but not only Snyder, but even his fan base. See, when they when people try to defend, it's kind of similar to how people try to defend Legend of Korra season two. Like uh, people, when when they talk about the Snyder cut, sorry, the Snyderverse, specifically Man of Steel and um, BVS, they have to so in, over intellectualize it and just talk about the ideas that the movie has. Yes, the movie has good ideas. But they never at any point bring up the execution of it. That's the problem. Oh, the movie's about this and this and this and this. Okay, it is about... Well, plenty of movies are about great things. Uh, is the execution good? They never bring that up when they're trying to defend this thing. It's like, uh, oh, don't you see... Um, it, it, uh, 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 don't you see? Look at that. It, this, the the movie is about this. This is about this. The movie is about this. Like, but I've seen plenty of essays trying to defend All the right, here we go. Go, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mary, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, no Murray is radioactive and the mission ends. Uh, kind of a dark ending, even though... So, Murray, I hope you hadn't planned on having kids in the future, because, uh, yeah. You're gonna have Moving me, on. Baby, now it's time to feed the crocodile, actually. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ, God. man. I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need it's to... probably for the best you don't, Murray. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Righteous! I'm the man for the job! The guru will start luring biters to a position near this giant crocodile. Your oh god, is he gonna mind wipe them to do it? Might more mind control, remember, that's his stick. Like huh? huh. We're the good guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Murray, no! <laughs> Are we sure about that? 
to help us sleep at night, yes. Ah, uh, uh, again, Bentley, you're really no, worried too much about just a piece of oil ornament. Bentley, not for nothing, but for all you know, that mask will attach itself to that crocodile and make an even bigger mess of the situation. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, of, of the mission. Grab the miners and literally throw them into the crocodile's mouth until it's satisfied. I Jesus Christ. Okay, then. We're, we're we're good, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> no, 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 sure. Yes. Uh, no, no, sure. It's because we're operating on uh, King's Quest logic. You know, it's okay to kill oh, people God. as long as they're bad people. As long as they're oh, as long as you think they're bad people. Oh yes, God! The, oh, okay, the, so they don't even have to be bad people. We just got to think that they're bad people. Yes. That's the thing. All right. Well, well, well. Here's the thing. This Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I noticed that the guys who don't get thrown to the crocodile's mouth drown in that water, even though they're literally <laughs> like a centimeter away from the leads that they could grab onto. Brilliant. But no, sure. But no, sure. The reason I say think is because you know, bad and good are uh, relative. You know, what's good That's to somebody? Know, the story is written by the winners again. So, but yeah, to finish my yeah. earlier point, uh, my only my main issue is when it, when I see all these essays talking about how BVS is genius, is because they talk about the ideas the movie has and don't actually talk about how they're executed in the story itself. You know, it's kind of like like the bulk of defenders of a game like Apollo Justice. You're like, don't get me wrong, I get that that game has a lot of good ideas, but that's what people mainly talk about with that game: the ideas, rarely ever the execution. Oh snap! Oh, really? Really? <laughs> Okay, Bentley, who teased you in high school as a kid? Like, what warped your mind to this point? I guess, I, guess, uh, I, 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 thought, I forgot if it was you who mentioned that, Jova, but it might have been the traumatic experience of losing its legs or thanks to Crocla. Maybe it's well, that. Well, wasn't he kind of, well, okay, I guess to me... He, he had already, uh, you know, potentially a, a twisted side, but things have kind of escalated from that. <laughs> yeah, true. I guess Remember, we're just at episode two, we're far from over. I guess you have to power a wheelchair now, just stop running people over. Well, it did work, but the mask still runs away. Oh well. When someone wearing them runs away? Again, you know, maybe maybe some people can slide through. It's an approximation, but we've still the point. Alright, time for the operation. Maybe at some point we'll get a Sly Cooper and Crash Bandicoot crossover. Chief Bentley, best because we'll probably murder two thirds of them already at this point. <laughs> well, Jeva, that would require Activision to be friends with somebody. Uh, who knows? Operation Moon Crash. Also, Dwibs, all it takes to get Activision to be quote unquote friendly is to flash enough money their way. Sony learned the hard way when making PlayStation that's, Battle uh, Stars Royale. That's not being friendly to that, it's something else. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's interesting. I said, I said quote unquote friendly. That, that's that's also, also, apparently Bentley's plan for this operation is to have Murray being coated in the radioactive oil to resemble a moon so that the, the mask will be scared by it. Uh, I, the mask uh, is afraid of the moon? Yes, uh, that's what the what the, the guru said, so we're trying to recreate that scenario. It's in so it's definitely not Majora's moon then. Okay. Go on, Pedro, don't worry. It's it, it's interesting because uh not only uh not only is Crash represented uh, sorry, not only Crash and Spyro represented in uh, Astro's Playroom, but uh, the uh, so the credits even list all thanks to all our partners over the years, and Activision is listed there. So again, again, like I, I mentioned there, kind of it's pretty. Yeah, like not not just that. It, it 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 depends because you know, for example, Sega was not present on the company. They had stuff like Konami was there, despite you know all the things they did in recent years. Um, so it really depended on probably on Sony approaching these companies, offering a, offering a potential, you know, type of money format for including characters from their games and then dictating what to do with that. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, the first thing to do is to get rid of that chopper. It's relatively easy. Control free guards and smash into that. It should be good to go. Basically, we need to use them as a little projectile. Basically, use the more, more sadistic stuff, Jova. You need to mind control the guards, which will start run, you know, um, run completely ahead. Then at the last second, you need to jump them off, and the momentum will make them keep going until they impact on something like a wall. If you do that on the for the helicopter, the helicopter will sustain damage, and the guards either they will still be mind controlled before hitting impact, or we will just regain enough consciousness to see that they're about to die towards an object. This is again fucked up beyond belief. How lovely. I'm trying, Bentley. I'm trying. I may be Bentley, may, Bentley. Maybe if you shut up, I concentrate. <laughs> like this. Way to go, Guru. A couple more direct hits like that. Literally suicide bombers. Yep. Thanks also to mind control. We're the good guys. I we swear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we've. Uh... We killed, we killed a bunch of unassuming miners, and now we're leading these guys yes. to their death and destroying the property. Let's hope, let's hope the Australian government doesn't actually investigate this. Is, this. Uh, this is something... Um, well, this is well, too, this is something similar to, to... This is kind of what Sucker Punch likes to do, make you question what you're doing in their games. So. True, but... Uh, tr okay, hold on, Jova. True, but... It's like but uh, hold on, dweebs. Uh, true, but... Uh, um, for Infamous, for example, your actions do have repercussions on that front, thanks to the karma system, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. And I get the idea, like I mentioned to you, that I think at some point Ghost of Tsushima was supposed to have that as well, but it was ultimately scrapped in favor, you know, on a more streamlined type of story. Mm -hmm. I do get the feeling, though, that in this case, Pedro, this is probably more a case where it's us viewing the horrible implications behind all the wacky comedic cartoony comedy. Again, it's more si it's a similar effect um, to um, God, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, but the, the point the point is that uh, I get what they, what, we were, what we were doing with this. Uh, but like Jova said, yes, it's, it's just uh, some minor implications because. Uh, um, it takes, like we mentioned at the beginning, it takes inspiration from old school type of cartoons as well, not just the two main sources of inspiration like Disney's Robin Hood. Um, I think so it has, to be, it has to be expected something similar to that. Oh, here I we go. Hello, Aldrova, we're about to get uh, the actual final boss of the, of the, of the episode. Come on. We yes. have a here, Carmelita, what the God fuck are you doing? Damn it, Carmelita! <laughs> We can't stop Always the at the worst time with Just your woman. Her a wide bird. Roger, applying wide bird. Quit horsing around and <laughs> the look out for the bats. Mean. It's close. I can wide bird means you know space. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, there it is. No! Okay. Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Well, crud. Cooper, thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. <laughs> Sly, this is not the time. Oh no. Oh yes, welcome to Fetish Fuel now, City. I, let's, let's just call it Shadow of the Colossus, please. <laughs> yes, no. a game where you have to scurry up a half-naked fox girl's uh, body. Oh, Shadow man. of the Colossus, indeed. Well, okay, for, first, uh, first thing first, you need to tranquilize Carmelita using your darts. You know, it figures. Even while under the possession of an evil mask, of course, Carmelita's first obsession is getting Sly Cooper. I of mean, course, priority is Jova. I can see it of now. Course the, and of course, the gun had to grow with her, which makes it even more lethal. I can see it no. now. 
I can see it now. They they sh they shoot Carmelita down, and and the the sad theme from uh, from Cutter the Colossus who as, uh, as she start releases Black Ooze. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Try to sedate Carmelita. Yeah, sure. Good luck with that. You're gonna need all the all the the material to sedate a fucking bull. To, <laughs> well, yeah, I need mean, five to be precise. Uh. Maybe that and more. Jesus How does that Christ. not give her a heart attack? She's dying. It's fine, Wibs. Don't worry, do this. Fortunately, we're operating on cartoon logic, so we'll be fine. Finally, the dark there we go. Are also, they? Ben also, Bentley did teleport in years alive. Oh no. No. Yes! I mean, no. Bentley. She's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big yeah, we, we can't oh, show that because... Oh, we we'll, we'll see in a bit, Leaves. Uh. Might shrink back down with time. Oh, boy. Yeah, get get to the vehicle. It's probably the best. Uh. Wow. So yeah, this was this is your final boss of time. So, but first, uh, get to the explosive, get this pussy barrel, and literally throw into the bo her body. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this episode? Again, so basically, better. this episode exists to show our characters in a bad light. No, no, no. Kinda. No, no. Oh well, yeah, I guess so. Everybody well, they are. Well, here's the thing. We're forgetting something. They're thieves. They're not exactly okay. saints. Okay. They've never been I saints. I agree with that, Pe I agree with that, Pedro. But here's the problem: compared to the, also to the previous two games, this is clearly different in terms of how things escalate. Mm -hmm. And okay, okay, okay. What our heroes is doing is questionable, but Carmelita is trying to freaking murder not us with that, bombs. Not just that. In order to stop her, you need to throw explosive onto her. We're just trying to make her shrink. You know, the expo again, we're operating on the fact. Oh, the explosive are only, I'm not actually damaging her, only stopping her. But you know, maybe they do. I'm guessing the, the logic. I, I'm guessing the logic too is that uh, bombs, because uh, she's so huge. Uh, the bombs don't actually kill her, they just uh, hurt her that's normally? What they, that's what I just said, oh, Pedro, but great. they didn't you. Oh great, and they just made her even bigger! Again. So yeah, now it's actually time for Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry, just uh, just just go to go under a bridge and have her bury herself like the Shredder. This is starting to remind me of one of the Dexter's Laboratory pilots. So, again, I know, Bentley. So... Yeah, again, I'm just saying, furry and giantess, this is definitely a fetish, all right. <laughs> someone, someone at Sucker Punch really was into this episode, I guess. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> Especially with that ass shot. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I yes, climb right up. Can't get much closer than climb Bentley, not the fucking time. Like, like I said, fetish. Fetish, damn it. I mean, if this were an anime, they'd be throwing in even more lewd stuff. Well, just be glad she's still having the design of a trilogy, because uh, much like with a lot of other people, I don't really like the design they gave to Carmelita for fusing time, but it's a story for that. Oh, yeah, that design. It's, uh... Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, so I, yeah, I, I, it's, oh, a, it's, it's okay. exactly it, like Shadow of Colossus, but more similar. Yeah. It's more te it's more scripted that in that way because dun, 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 it, dun, 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 it's following dun, dun. the game's logic. So your the path that you need to use to climb is you know more predetermined rather than using part. Oh yeah, the of Shadow the of the Colossus come out. Two thousand later. I, I think it was a, had been already announced by this point. Though, like, mm -hmm. what, sorry, sorry, what, what was that? What was that page? Two thousand four. Two thousand five. Oh, the, the, the a year yeah, after this. Came out. Oh, is it, was it, what, oh does, it, does this also come out in 2005? Yeah. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Same year then. Okay. okay. Probably someone in the team was really ecstatic about that. Uh, and also oh. was very horny. I mean... It's not like he's gripping on to her, um... Tracks of land while he's at it, so... I'll try I my best to make this worse. level and quicker, Jova, to please. <laughs> there we go, and finally. Down she goes. 
but you see that mask. Please. But you see, but you, but you see, Teo, it's the it's this universe's fierce deity's mask. Oh, so I know. Okay, okay. So that was it. You just needed to shoot the mask in order to get rid of them. Of course. Okay, here's oh. instead the payoff instead of the episode. This is. Uh, Okay, so yeah, Carmelita is there, tra probably traumatized by the experience, unconscious, laying there, so what is the team deciding to do with that? They're just gonna leave her there. Well, they put yeah. Okay, that, that's one thing, but... It's like... Seriously? Oh! oh. You're such a Casanova, Sly. Hey, you know what? Give her You're something. horrible people. So, I just wondered though, would the courts try Carmelita for murder or would she but be able to Don't worry, guys. It's the okay. The, the land is finally free because we killed almost everyone. Kick their ass. Evidence. wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in so yeah, okay, the thing we need to get through all of this is that we had, we have a new member for the gang. So let's update the banner, Super Smash Ultimate Style. Yes! What's the character's name? Guru. Yeah, yeah. Laguru, um, I can't think of a good Smash to call yeah. over help. The tuning instead in the meantime for the next episode, which thankfully involved less killing, where our characters will have to try to travel instead to the Netherlands for a playing competition. So see ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.